Welcome to the Grain of Salt Podcast. My name is Hank. With me is Ben. Hey. And we did it. We, we're at the last episode of Bubblegum Crisis, the end of uh, the season of Grain of Salt. Congratulations. Yeah. You did it. Yeah. I mean, I wish we could have done it all at once. <laughs> Look, uh, life happens. Yeah. We got a surprising amount done in a in a short time, so I guess like that's good. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine if yeah. we hadn't? Jesus, we'd be like halfway done. <laughs> I had a cursed week, so like it's been like eight hundred years since we watched the final episode of Bubblegum Crisis. Uh-huh. Um, I was wrong. I do remember. Um, I had placed my money on a riff. During the last battle and a ballad for the credits, oh, oh for two. Uh huh. I want that one. <laughs> yep, that's the you know I'm, I'm shoving. Give me my, them bops. Yeah, I'm, I'm shoving all my bubblegum chips onto your side of the <laughs> table. Yeah, it was bop all the way. Um, <laughs> this episode was like super cute, like kind of unhealthy for girls, but like. Fucking they and they <laughs> get like Pris shoving her in the machine be like, You're you got your waist is a centimeter bigger. They're just like laughing oh at God. her. Like I'm know- fucking getting roasted for like a centimeter of waist. Like, oh my god. But her grabbing the little like pudge on her side, <laughs> like it's so I know it's not good, but like it was so cute i do like the interactions are just so good that i'm like this is this is the good shit and then and then nana gets home and she's like she gets the slice of cake and she's like oh my god i shouldn't and then it cuts and it's gone (laughs) that cut is fucking unreal that cut cut is so good that cut was like unbelievably top tier Oh my god, it was <laughs> just fucking like amazing. Her like agonizing of maybe I shouldn't eat this cake too. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's so good. Same though. Dude, that's my struggle. <laughs> Every fucking time there's like anything remotely close to a pastry in this household. God. It's just fucking gone. I love it. Doing the, uh, I mean, her, like, it did it feel like it came out of nowhere with her being, like, not good at fighting? Not that it came out of nowhere, but, like, I thought she was fine with it. Or I didn't notice her being specifically bad, and I was wondering if I had missed that. Or if it was, like, we 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 really didn't see much of her fighting, and then they just, like, highlight it in this episode. I think it's that. I think they just never made a big thing about it okay because i like they're like man she can't even complete level five level five is like normal girl tier (laughs) Mm -hmm. and i was wondering if you know it's like a new thing but it was some cool shit we just kind of we just haven't spent as much time with her yeah yeah oh i I liked her getting a episode i like the Uh, it does feel like um like this, clearly this wasn't going to be the last episode. But oh, like, there are there are what things are that are about? like. What are you talking about? It felt like a closure to me. Are you joking? Or I'm, I'm definitely joking. It's a bit. <laughs> it's a flopped bit. Gotcha. Bad delivery. No, like um, clearly. I think the thing, the thing that's clearly different about this episode to me is that it feels more like. Oh yeah, we're in the nineties now. <laughs> It's just something about, <clears throat> I feel like, uh, yeah, this is 91. We're in 91 now. <laughs> not We're not in the 80s anymore. It did, It definitely had, now. like, a different a different vibe to it. Yeah. I forget. Do you, do you remember the photographer's name? The girl? No, I just remember she's the police chief's, chief's niece. Yeah, I yeah. I don't remember her name. I mean, I remember, like, the bits. I remember, like, it's a it's a classic it's not treading any new ground with the whole, like, stay here, don't move. 
but like it was good delivery like her being like yeah okay and then just like smiling like i just it was well executed as she got out of the car and like happily ran past the police and was like what i think she just was like i'm with the press <laughs> just like didn't even give them time to react no, she says she's with the police. <laughs> she said she's right, right, right. She says I'm with the AD police or whatever. Uh huh. Who's like yeah, a yeah. basic bitch cop. But she doesn't uh, even stop. Yeah. She just runs sprints fast. It was good. Yes. Um. Huh? The. I, I forget all like the terms and shit. The virus boomer that melded into the fucking systems. Yeah. That was cool. Mm hmm. Like. The whole. I mean the the concept is like it's fine, but like the sequence of it like becoming more like just a web in that room mm -hmm. that was cool. Just like the visuals of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vibed, vibed with me. <clears throat> it's good. It's good shit. We got the, the... like getting the. Uh... That fucking photographer going through the video game levels as they're getting their way her waypoints keep changing. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, good shit. Uh, the the one part about this episode that does feel finale ish, that's like end of the series, is when uh, photographer like it's like. She's tr she's found the their like base, the the garage. Yeah. And she's like waiting th for them to come back, and then fucking <laughs> Sil <laughs> Cilia just like shows up, fucking like regal. <laughs> yeah. And, like dude, sits like on the, this couch like the and the furs. <laughs> where she's like, "Are you waiting for something?" Like I forget. How, I forget the exact queen. Yeah. <laughs> I forget the phrasing, but she's like, are you waiting for something that do you like think something's going to happen? And Tyra was like, <laughs> yeah, but, 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 and Celia is like, okay. And just sits down. Like, <laughs> I want to see it too. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking calling that bluff. <laughs> and then like, we get the, just the question of like, why do you think? do the uh night sabers do it and it's like it's the line about like maintaining balance or whatever yeah yeah like the the boomers which is honestly like not that's like not that ambitious a goal but <laughs> okay <laughs> look man it doesn't have to be ambitious it's just you know it's yeah like, uh -huh. that's which is what i would say about the series it's like in terms of like its ideas it's like we got the cyberpunk future. We're not like gonna like change the world or anything. We're just trying to just trying to do cool shit. Yeah, <laughs> trying to be mercenaries and fucking fight <laughs> robots. Yeah, that's what we're about. Uh, and that's uh, what they do. <laughs> they fight robots, know. and the robots like besiege the police station, and uh, they they beat them. I'm trying save to her, save that girl. I'm trying to remember if there was anything fucking wonky or not wonky, but like if there's anything with Leon, their police boy. I forget. Leon's like barely in this episode. I was gonna say I don't think he's in and I was, much. I was I was pretty stoked. <laughs> the true finale. <laughs> it's like yeah, let's just like not have Leon it Leon in the episode. I like everything fucking better. Brad. Man. Oh, it's right. I don't... Did I go back and check? I did go back and check the... Uh, right, right. I did check out the dub for the one episode. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Man, I'm just like... For how short this series was, like... I feel like it made like I it definitely I don't know how much of it like specifically is going to like stick in my brain right um, yeah 
but like I feel like I'm going to remember it as a whole and like the vibe and shit like that's going to that's going to last like mm. this was fucking solid <laughs> like totally there was never I don't I don't think I can't I can't think of a spot in like any episode where I felt like it was dragging where I felt like I wasn't enjoying myself like mm-hmm. it, I mean and you know like when you're working with such a confined space like it it better be fucking tight but they they nailed it and the I mean yeah. the <laughs> we we've, we've already discussed the bop ratio <laughs> insanity uh-huh. <laughs> borderlining yeah. on illegal i would imagine <laughs> <laughs> like... well uh, <laughs> the show was done in by legal problems basically i forget I, did we mention that did we talk about that i forget if i had no what were the legal Not problems really. so the show basically the show had two big um studios that like were co owned it and they like just had a complete falling out so like oh. they were just like suing each other um so like that 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 caused the end of season one and then they started another series like really shortly after bubblegum crash that was supposed to be the final five episodes mm. But that only made it three episodes before that also got shut down because of a lawsuit. Unbelievable. <laughs> also, Crash, I like I checked it out. It's just not as good. <laughs> that makes sense. Is it it's with is it with all like the same like they got everybody they got the game back together? Or is it like re- Chris has a different voice actress, which is a big problem. That's fucking rough. Of all the people, yeah. that's pretty brutal. Yeah. That was when I bailed when I heard Chris's <laughs> new voice actress. I was like, I, I can't. mean, that makes sense, dude. I was, I was, and wondering. like, they open with her singing a ballad. I was like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> but like, they just like, I don't think they had the time to make those episodes. Also, like, yeah, man. So like, the animation I just also didn't think was as good. That's a shame. I was because I knew they, I knew they like followed it up or whatever. But I didn't know if it, I. You never know if it's worth it, right? That kind of mm. sucks, man. And also, there's there's like weird like world building stuff that's just different. Like, Dude, like the world boomers are just around as like oh, dumb f- robots, and like the idea of like a a boomer that could impersonate a person is like wild to them. <laughs> What? It's fucking weird. That's yeah. that's janky. It's, as hell. I don't understand how that happens. Man. And even like I like the world building so much. Just how we get it, you know? Like mm-hmm. you're kind of getting drip fed, but it never feels like you're getting too less. Like I think because the show doesn't not that they don't care, but like they're not they're not worried about it you know Mm -hmm. so i'm not worried about it i'm not if the if the show isn't asking questions all the time i'm not hunting for answers i'm just content just watching what's going on getting little Mm -hmm. bits and pieces like it's it was just very good at it it came at a good pace and it was like sure we never got follow up on that is Celia actually like a fucking robot person there was something (laughs) i thought there was like a a small bit in this last episode that like kind of touched on that almost but i forget what it was it nothing nothing it was like literally a line and i'm like hmm Mm. but i forget what it would have been but yeah like that i mean just but like i'm down with it man like that little I don't know. It also, I, I was going to say, it also helps, like, you get some of the world-building shit with, like, the corporations, the people, like, the sort of factions, I guess, for lack of a better word, and our mm-hmm. antagonists and all that shit. But the fact that, like, we don't have, like, this ever-building web of 
like more people being added and like more people from the corporation and against the corporation, like all these different groups and like executives and assassins and shit. Like we meet these executives or whatever and they just die. Yeah, like, yeah. they like they die like the next episode. Yeah. Dude, it's so good. And that's coming from me. Do you know how much it takes for me to be like, yeah, we got a new character and then they died. Like <laughs> new characters are the fucking worst, dude. <laughs> This shit was good. <laughs> uh-huh. Just very, uh, very enjoyable. And even this guy, like, in the in the last episode here, is just a dude. And even at one point, they're like, is this Genom? And, and I, I don't, I'm going to paraphrase because it's funnier. They're like, no, it's a dude. It's just a guy. <laughs> it's a, they call him a private entity or something like that. <laughs> but, like, no, it's just a, it's just a, a regular guy. He's pissed. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. I yeah. loved I loved early on they're like this is whatever lab person was like, What are you doing? He's like, Oh, these boomers are defective. I'm I'll I'll take them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like I'll I'll put a, I'll take him to the junkyard, I promise. <laughs> Same Yeah. I don't know. It's just like the you know, it's just like you get by with so much with just the character interactions being good, the music being great. Oh, dude, <laughs> the the animation. Well, okay, I say I say that, but like it is like nailing every little thing. It's <laughs> like the production or yeah. everything is is so good. Yeah, who would have thought that? Like when you have ten out of ten music, ten out of ten character interactions, amazing voice voice actresses with great chemistry, like an exciting world with cool action, great robots, and a dude getting like stabbed through the neck, like that's all it takes. <laughs> you just have to do everything incredibly well. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Man, it's easy. God, I've never. It's like it's one of those. I don't always like the. You know, obviously, sometimes I would like to watch a thing and get the closure, right? I don't want everything to be a like a like this or like Firefly or something where it's like, no, I'm just happy soaking in the vibes and not really getting to the end of whatever. But mm-hmm. here, it's like the perfect level of like I want more, but at the same time, I'm like, man, they fucking it's done and it like they never got to go on enough to be potentially bad or anything like they just <laughs> it ended uh, on top. yeah like they they never like lasted long enough that they tried to hook up Pris and Leon yeah but like <laughs> man I just want more slice my of, specific fear <laughs> I want more slice of life shit with the the knights it's just mm. so fucking good <laughs> mm. so if you want if you want to know some uh, unfortunate or I don't know, but like bad to me legacy of this show, uh, uh, two of the like animators who worked on this show, uh-huh. they had an idea for their for for their own show, which was um, oh god, what if Mackie were the main character? <laughs> Oh, like all of Mackie? And what if... Like all of Mackie? Like the like part where, is... The part where he's like, okay, Mackie, but also he's still like checking out his sister? If it's about Mackie and it's all about him being surrounded by girls that want to bone him. Oh. That sounds and, uh, heavily and, uh, cursed. Uh, what about it with, like, you know, you had all the comedy episodes, like, where they go to hot springs. Jesus. Man, they really... <laughs> and so, they created Tenchi Muyo. That means nothing to me. <laughs> and pi- pi- pioneered the harem anime genre. God. <laughs> I mean, sounds like a crisis. They really put the... <laughs> they put the emphasis on it. It was uh, incredibly lucrative for them, I have to assume. <laughs> Oh, like no fucking doubt. <laughs> wow, a popular yeah. harem anime? That's uh-huh. wild. Yeah. 
just sounds so like it. That, that's in the uh, Wikipedia article of their like, oh. legacy, and I was like, ugh. <laughs> Man. This was just, like, I can't get over just how fucking good it was. And also, like, fuck, Pris is just so good. <laughs> like, it's incredible. What a, mm-hmm. like, just the the voice, you know? Just very distinct. It's great shit. Yeah. Oh, right, this was, uh, <laughs> I remember the other thing uh, from this last episode where, uh, uh, Nene is with the photographer, like, oh, she's going to shadow you for whatever. She wants to be a journalist, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, oh, shit, somebody's going 50 kilometers over the speed limit. <laughs> and as soon as you see it's a bike, you know it's going to be fucking Pris. <laughs> and Pris, that ro- part is so Pris rolls up, funny. and she's like, oh, you're going to ticket me, officer? And Nene, like, looks back at the, at the photographer, and she's like, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> Chris is like, what the fuck are you doing? Don't do this. I'm gonna get you. It's so good. Man. <laughs> You're seriously giving me a ticket? I'm gonna fuck it. <laughs> I'll get, I'll, I'll get you for, pay this. for this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just so good. <laughs> and it has to be a fucking good cop for <laughs> for fucking children. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Love it, man. Her fucking what a wonky way in this in this world to to pull over people. Fucking roll out like I don't know, like twenty meters from your car. Put out a sign and then flash a light <laughs> to get him to stop. Mm-hmm. I thought Pris was just I, I knew it was going to be Pris I just assumed she would like blow by At like the speed of sound Mm-hmm Hmm I mean that She saw the pink hair from a mile away I did I did See like something on the wiki That Pris was originally going to be Replaced They were going to like kill her off <laughs> Wow. Because I think was... Oh, I forget. I forget names. I really should have opened the Wikipedia page before starting this. Hmm. <laughs> I, uh, I just... I think, I think someone... I think someone, not naming names, but it was almost assuredly Anya was peeking through my I opened up my browser and there was a random picture that was from Discord and I certainly didn't go to it. Someone was snooping. <laughs> mm. Caught. Caught. Now I have leverage. I don't actually. <laughs> I just find it amusing. Um uh-huh. let's see. There where did I see was this under like characters? I can't I can't remember where this was because, like, the wiki is so weird for it. But it said something. Um, who is the who is the singer? The other singer that had the weird, like, slide the funeral slideshow in the back. Uh, I fucking don't remember her name. I, it's it's completely. It's completely eluding me right now. Mm-hmm. Was it? No, it's not Lisa. It's not Henri. Was, on- was it Henri? Was it Henri? Henri? Maybe. I can't. Yeah, the summaries are just god awful. No, no, Henri is the vampire girl who didn't die the first time. Hmm. Where I can't think of where the hell I saw this. It was definitely on this page. Maybe you dr- maybe you dreamed it. Don't I I already worry about gaslighting myself. Let's see. Kill? No. Let's see. Replace. No matches. I don't like that. 
Well, was it in the list of characters? You know what? I'll bet it was in list of characters. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Other characters. Was it Irene? No, Irene is the one who died. Rika slash Vision, because her name is Vision, her stage name. It's Rika Chang. Um, Rika was intended to replace Pris. The character, if you go to the list of characters from the show, it's like good mm. descriptions. Uh, Rika was intended, Rika, Rika, was intended to replace Pris in the series when a dispute with uh, Kanuku Umar Imori. Umari's recording contract arose, who I assume did the voice for Pris. And the character was originally going to be killed, but an outcry from fans convinced the producers otherwise to reverse this decision. It's alluded to in episode 8 when Raika makes a cameo appearance at the drive-in theater where uh, Celia is meeting with Fargo. She appears in the movie playing behind them on screen wearing a dark blue hard suit similar to the Night Sabres but without a helmet. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Today you're you robotting incredibly hard for me. Oh. I don't know why that would be. Highly cursed. Probably internet. Maybe my integrated graphics. No, it shouldn't be the mic. I don't know. I got no idea. Hang on. Me? Yeah. Is it? I'm gonna. Is it because our Discord server call is set to Russia? No, I've been fussing with it to see if that does anything. It didn't it didn't change. Oh, well, that's change a, anything. You sound great to me. Hmm. Hmm. I just don't want your <laughs> if it's like oh actually on your mic, I don't want the audacity to be fucked. No, I mean audacity looks fine. I did the mic check, man. Okay. If it's not fine, like Whatever. people can deal. <laughs> no, no one can deal with this. Uh, I will continue to deal, but people should not deal. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense considering they de literally did replace the voice actress in Crash. Mm. Um, but they didn't replace her with <laughs> someone appropriate or better or good. I don't know. It, like it felt like the voice they got just felt incredibly off for the character. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. IMO. Yeah. So you know, they uh undervalued her, clearly. That is a fucking shame. As like the goat. <laughs> yeah. It's like Pris's boss firing her <laughs> that From, one episode because yeah. you had to leave. <laughs> yeah, but he recognized the error of his ways. Clearly, did, at some sure. point. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's why we don't get any more, like, uh, her singing a song. Because it's like, we don't want to fucking attach more of this show to her. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, could, I could see it. Conspiracy thoughts are <laughs> abound now. It's a shame because that character just rules. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a great voice performance. Oh dude, it's 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 amazing. It's very very good. I'm like scared to talk now. <laughs> that, actually, you sound fine now. Do so. I? Okay, well that's good. <laughs> Weirdly, um, yeah. There was also. <laughs> So I guess there's also like a see, like a remake anime that's like 26 episodes, but all the, the character designs are different. That almost sounds better than trying to continue it and changing one. Did they keep the same voice actors and everything or did they completely because it like completely changing everything sounds like it almost be better in a way. As opposed to trying to continue with like a core person missing, I think it's I think it's totally different. That uh, almost seems like the way to go. I'd be down to like check. I mean, I, if if you're gonna look at it, I'll let you take the hit. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be down to check it out. <laughs> I, I kind of lost interest after 
A crash I was more interested in. Hmm. Um. Because honestly, like Crash, at least has like a good intro song. Like when it's like, just, oh, yeah. there's just a bop the... at the front of it, and it's uh, it's pretty good. Was there like and bops then... within it, or did they just none? Did they drop the ball on bops? Uh, again, I I didn't I only watched part of the first episode, so there's a bop up the up front, mm-hmm. at the beginning mm-hmm. that was good, but then and then like the next song was Pris singing a ballad. Because yeah, she's got like gotten a recording contract or whatever, mm. like the oh, they've, they've kind of they've like the like lightsabers have like broken up. Yeah. Uh, here's I want the I want the pris- image of the character designs from the the new sequel anime. That's uh. If I knew, it's like 1998. <laughs> That's a lot of choices. <laughs> That's a lot of choices. Is that supposed to be... Pr- it has to be Pris in the front. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, I'm... I'm good. You know, also, it's like 26 episodes, and it doesn't have an ending still. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm I'm good. <laughs> Man, oh man, maybe I do a or mm, mm, that's interesting. What they do? Well, so it's written. Uh, most of it is written by the guy who wrote um, Digimon Tamers. Okay. Um, so I know he's a good writer. I also like not that inclined to check out more stuff by him because in <laughs> recent years he's fucking lost his mind. But oh, what he go the wrong way politically? Uh huh. Yep, that tracks. They did a Digimon Tamers like anniversary thing and the script he wrote was like about the the, the cast of Digimon Tamers fighting the personification of cancel culture. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Man. Uh, Imagine actually like being the, a the boomer. Worst. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know. I have, I have too much Tokusatsu to watch. Yeah, no, we got, I mean, Moon. we got yeah, we got a lot of <laughs> shit like coming. Yeah. I'm fine leaving this at like a perfect thing. Mm-hmm. Like this is very good. Yeah, that's my that's like really my my thing being at the end of this. Like it's eight episodes. <laughs> They're all tight, they don't drag. Everybody should check this out who's like even remotely into anime. And even kind of if you're not like it's probably the thing to watch. Yeah, if you just like you know the that cyberpunk vibe, um, like or bops. do it. If you like bops and, over bops. sad things, if you like bops, true. It's like thirty percent bops. It's it's like Damn. also there just happens to be anime. It's fine. Yeah, it's like a good music video. It's some of them are just like <laughs> God. Imagine the AMV potential of this shit. The problem is you have to improve on what's already there. No, you don't. Not when you're 12 and got <laughs> ideas. <laughs> well, for it to be worth it for me to look at it. <laughs> How are you going to compete with uh, Majin Vegeta over Linkin Park, Ben? Oh, God. I mean, I've already told you about the Naruto <laughs> dark power metal thing (laughs) (laughs) fucking Uh edgy garbage (laughs) yeah Uh uh-huh 12 year olds have feelings too they had a bunch they had a bunch of that like (laughs) shitty windows movie maker slowdown to like try to get like a slow motion thing but it just makes the frames look fucking dumb hell yeah oh classic terrible (laughs) 
Uh, is your is your is your favorite song from from Bubblegum still Hurricane? Yes. Okay. I mean, I, I, after a certain point, I'm like, I feel like it's just it, it's going to remain that. But I don't. Maybe you know, you never know. Mm-hmm. No, Hurricane was not unthroned. Makes sense. Dethroned. Dethroned. Meh. <laughs> Why not unthroned? <laughs> It just that just makes me think of like this literally being thrown out of a throne. <laughs> I mean, unthroned is clearly just a fucking indie roguelite with like uh, with uh-uh. light card battling mechanics and like a kingdom building thing in the hub world. Oh, you're not wrong. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, I need to. Now, uh, now I can. Uh, I can finally fucking get the the soundtracks. True. <laughs> That's. I've been. I was waiting. I didn't even think of that. Mm. This whole mm-hmm. week. Ah. Uh. Well, I'm gonna do it. But yeah, that's a that's a a thing. It's a bubblegum crisis. It's very good. Very very good. Highly Classic recommend. Classic anime. Yeah. Uh, Salt Circle Podcast, gmail.com, Salt Circle Pod on Twitter, uh, anchor.fm slash Salt Circle, and I'm on Twitter at Comic Panels. I'm not on Twitter. You know, as usual. Yeah, it's fine. It's a bad site. <laughs> yeah, it is very cursed. It's some boomer shit. Some boomer shit. <laughs> Peace.